Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Angle relationships. Angle relationships, getting ready for trigonometry. A ratio compares two quantities with the same unit. So because we are looking at the same units, units are not necessary. Okay, in our result. A rate compares two quantities with different units. Okay, because we are looking at different units, of course, units are needed. Okay, so in a comparison here, we're looking at, let's say, uh, kilometers per hour. That's a rate. Okay, two separate units. And a proportion is the equality of two ratios. And so what we're looking at is if A and B are equal to C and D, then by a result of cross multiplication, okay, AD is equal to BC as a result of this cross multiplication. So D moving over from the denominator to the numerator on the opposite side. So A being multiplied by D to give us that, and then B multiplied by C to give us that proportion. Angle relationships. Complementary angles. Okay, a complementary angle is if we add two angles together to give us a 90 degree angle. Okay. So regardless of what these two are, we know that if we add them together, it will give us a total of 90 degree. Supplementary angles. Okay. If we add them from a straight line here, so we have a straight line and we know that the entire straight line forms 180 degrees. If we create any line at any angle, we know that if we add this angle A with this angle B, we are going to get a total of 180 degrees. Vertically opposite angles are equal. So if we have this so-called X shape here, between angles, we know that this angle here is going to be equal to this angle here. This angle here is going to be equal to that angle there. So A angle is going to be equal to B angle, C angle is equal to D angle. And this is in any time you're trying to label unknown. So we think, let's go back to here, A plus B is equal to uh, 90 degrees for a complementary angle. Well, let's uh, put in a result. What if A here was equal to 60 degrees? Because we know based on com the uh, complementary angles rule that if this from here to here it's 60, from here to here it's 90, we're trying to figure out what is this angle. And we can do this in one of two ways. Okay, We can either substitute 60 degrees here, plus whatever our B angle is, is equal to 90, and then take our B value by moving the 60 degrees over to the other side of the equal sign, and we're subtracting 90 degrees by 60 degrees. So in other words, we have this whole entire angle is 90 degrees. We subtract it by whatever this angle is to give us this unknown angle B. Okay, same results apply if we were working with supplementary angles. If we knew this angle here, okay, let's say this angle here happened to be 20 degrees. If we subtract it, we know that the whole thing is 180. So if we subtracted 180 from 20 degrees, we would be able to find our missing angle. And in here for this bottom example, if our B value here was equal to, let's just say for argument's sake, um, 100 degrees, we know that if, well, if this side is 100 degrees, then this side here will also be 100 degrees based on the vertically opposite angles being equal. 
isosceles triangles. An isosceles triangle is any triangle that has two equal sides. This side happens to be equal to that side, which means, according to angle rules, whatever this angle is on the side of the two equal sides will be equal to one another. Some of the angles of a triangle, if we were to add all these inner angles of any, any triangle, they will add up to 180 degrees. The exterior anger, angle of a triangle, well, if we think about um, this line here, we know from here all the way to here is 180 degrees. But in terms of this exterior angle, this exterior angle here, I'm going to use blue line, this angle here is it equal to whatever this angle is added to whatever this angle is together. So if we added our angle A and B of the opposite, okay, um, of this external line, this, this external angle, okay, we would get pretty much the actual sum of whatever this outside angle is.